some Colts news. Reggie Wayne is going to be inducted into the Colts Ring of Honor this season. That's one step closer to Reggie possibly being in the Hall of Fame someday. So now, since this whole thing went down, Reggie Wayne deserves it. Congratulations to him. Reggie's the best. Um, that um, we, we, we love Reggie Wayne at, at the NFL Network, and I've gotten to know him. I'm just wondering if he's the Paul Pierce, who could be the uh, who could be the Isaiah Thomas Ooh. to get the a tribute video on the big night and see how Reggie likes it. Jim Sorgi? I got it. McAfee. Huh. <laughs> Is Pat McAfee on the phone line right he's now? He's on the phone. Right he's now. one of them. the all time greatest Pat McAfee. Barstools, Pat McAfee. How are you, Pat? You there? Rich, how's it going? Life is good. <laughs> How are you? Better for chatting with you, Pat. So what do you think? Can we get you a tribute video on Reggie Wayne's night? What do you think? No way. Bad idea, Rich. Now listen, Reggie and I were teammates yes. for seven years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Never had a real conversation with him ever. <laughs> that is a true story. <laughs> Not one. I mean, there's been a couple like, hi, how's it going? Not mm-hmm. really even that, really. There's just a couple one words here or there. I'm not for everybody rich, and I think Reggie was the one that made me realize that. But we're talking about <laughs> one of the hardest workers I've ever seen in my entire life. Never took a day off. Always did extra work, some jugs machine. Way better. He's just an incredible work ethic. But he and I were not, like, good friends. I don't think this is the right moment for this. I think okay. Reggie would end up killing me. All right. So then let's the, let's figure out when the right time would be. Uh, and, and the first things first is what – I think we need to we need to figure out what is on the tribute video. What is on the Pat McAfee tribute video that should be yeah. played at Lucas Oil? What do you got for me, Pat? Well, okay. first things first, let's go ahead and lead off with that mug shot. Okay. <laughs> Gary Busey, <laughs> carrot top looking mug shot. That was an embarrassment to my family and to Bill Polian. Go ahead and put that one up. Uh, there. Okay, that's one. Uh, how about that was how about blowing up Trendon Holiday? What about him? I think we should put that on there for sure. I mean, I was sore for a week after that. It was a blind squirrel finding it nut, but I definitely think we should put that on there. It was a big moment. Did you get drug tested after that? Did they test you yeah. for the <laughs> – Yeah. Yeah, I did. Rich, Rich, you're in the NFL. I feel like you're in the Illuminati of NFL decision-making. You know what I mean? Is that's not random, right, Rich? We all know it. Because I would, I would have a big game, and I'd be like, yep, no, I'm going to get tested tomorrow. <laughs> Then if Terry would have a big day on the show, you're getting tested tomorrow. For yeah, Hasselbeck, sure. too, that, right? That, that, Hasselbeck yeah. got that treatment, too, right? Hasselbeck, yeah, well, Hasselbeck also almost died one game when he had a uh, – he had uh, – what's the, it wasn't chlamydia. It was uh, – what's that <laughs> thing where you eat chicken <laughs> – E. Coli. E. coli. Salmonella. Salmonella. <laughs> Salmonella. By the way, who by, the, who, by the way, cheated off me in high school, a guy named Salmonella. Salmonella. Yeah, he sounded like me. Uh, really? So, no, I'm just kidding. So, okay, so okay. the, the Trendon Holiday hit, the mug shot. Um, come on, there had to be a, a big a big coffin corner I mean, moment for you, Pat, right? Yeah, I mean, against the Tennessee Titans, I had a coffin corner. We had a pick six the next play. I mean, it was a uh, game-winning touchdown. That goes on there. You have to do the fake against the Pittsburgh Steelers on Thanksgiving. I have a perfect passer rating then. Uh, there was a fake against the Titans. There's a couple onside kicks for sure. But really what I want to be remembered most for yes. is just my absolute great time that I would have during games on the sideline. And I think if you could get captured videos of me celebrating with Robert Mathis and Dwight Franey in a way that I was not supposed to be where I was it was not very much loved but everybody's celebrating so I'm giving high fives to everybody and I'm just sneaking in celebrations I think that was truly my legendary moment so whose night do we barge in on Peyton's who else what else we can what do you think Peyton, Peyton has a night every night though he was at <laughs> Daytona 500 the other day just getting honored down there because he's got a jingle Peyton's got every night I don't think you want to interrupt okay. Peyton's night mm. I think if Vinatieri has a night okay Yes. I think yes. I think we slide me in there mostly because you know he's used to dealing with me. Reggie, those guys didn't have to deal with me on a regular basis. Vinny did. He would get the joke. He'd understand it. But okay. Adam's coming back again. Uh, who knows when the night's going to be? True. It's too well, long. Well, by the way, Schefter reported that per source he heard Vinny's coming back. Vinatieri on my show has said like 15 times that he's got probably two years left. He's got a record. He's got to go get. And uh, he's still kicking at an elite level. So that is a guarantee for sure. Will he be with the Colts or not? That's a big decision. Who knows? And he's loved around here. By the way, before I let you go, Pat McAfee, speaking of your media career, you asked the question of Frank Reich that got the soundbite of the day when he was uh, yep. when he was at his press conference, Pat. You got the soundbite of the day thanks to your I question. I appreciate that. 
I appreciate that. I can't believe they let me in there. First of all, now, I cannot believe they let me. In. Now, were you you were there? You were there in your full uniform. Not, I'm not talking football uniform, right, Pat? Yeah, I had. Uh, I didn't see my thought. I've never been a part of a press conference, Rich. Okay, right. you guys didn't talk to me much whenever I was punting. <laughs> yeah, because really. There's not much for me to say. I mean, how'd you punt so good, Pat? It really won us the game. Is never a question that is asked. So I'm not one to know what press conferences are or not. I just thought it was a casual situation. I go in there, some jorts, a cutoff hoodie, a hat, and I didn't realize it was also a celebration for Frank, the new head coach. Yeah. I was definitely underdressed. Uh, they didn't give me the microphone for a while. I was like trying to get the bartender's attention there, trying to get the <laughs> mic. And then I finally got it. And Frank Reich and I go way back. He was my quarterback coach back whenever I was a rookie because I was third string emergency. And uh, he and I are good friends. And I asked him a question that everybody was thinking. I can't believe nobody else asked. And he hit a home run. That's why I think Frank's going to be a great uh, coach, too, because the guy's light on his toes. He's funny, relatable, and incredibly smart. Yeah, question was, uh, do you hate or love Josh McDaniels, right? That was your question of him? Yep. And yep. I mean, I, well, first thing was like, how do you make Andrew Luck magical? Because what happened with Foles and Wentz, I thought that was beautiful. Right. And then I a follow up to that question, which is a standard Big J journalist follow up to that question is, do you hate or love Josh McDaniels for what happened? I'll hang up and listen to your answer. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, honestly, like the Indianapolis Colts fans, they looked at that Josh McDaniels situation as another reason to hate the Patriots, right? Like, that's another reason to hate the Patriots. It wasn't like that big of, like, an embarrassing situation for Colts fans as it was, well, there's another reason to hate the Patriots. But Frank Wright, deep down, has got to be like, you know what? I like this guy. I like what he did. And Frank delivered a gem with that backup uh, role has suited me well in my career. And, and, and that's a mic drop, Pat McAfee. All right, so uh, we, we, we've got the tribute video. We're gonna, we'll help put it together. And then Vinatieri, when he, when he has his night, we're going to have that sort of you'll be the Isaiah Thomas to his Paul Pierce that night Pat cool I like fine? that I, I I really appreciate that I mean it doesn't put me in a terrible position at all I mean, that's really, <laughs> I for the brand Pat anything for the brand as you know <laughs> for the brand take care bud thank, thanks hey, for calling you. thank you you got it it's Pat McAfee the Rich Eisen show weekdays at noon Eastern on audience